car out with nitro gear and you may have seen uh, we did a little video with this Tacoma which is one of our next project vehicles um, a little while back and just kind of showed our first impressions of it um, you know before you know I got this as a, a, a project vehicle to build up and use off-road and take to events and things like that but of course before we touched it and while it was bone stock I noticed that you know I already knew but I noticed that the factory gearing was just not up to snuff um, I have hardly seen it go in sixth gear since I've owned it now about 1500 miles or so um, it's just geared too tall you know the factory gearings 390 with a 0.58 to 1 overdrive and what that means is a factory uh, a final drive ratio of a 2.26 and that's really tall gearing um, you know I found out it I found it was under 1500 rpms at 60 and it just isn't enough rpms for this 3.5 liter to to make the vehicle go you know it just downshifts to the next gear and then you're turning even more rpm or downshifts to fourth and you're turning even more rpm so while low rpm sounded nice uh for fuel economy if it's downshifting all the time you're not turning that low of rpms and fuel economy goes out the window uh which i have proved to myself by um you know the past few months driving it and the best i've seen on the on the miles per tank is about 16 miles to gallon and I've been averaging about 14.5 that's with quite a bit of city driving but also highway driving um, I know some people are getting better than that on the highway just straight highway driving but so we pulled it in and put 488s in it before we did any of the planned upgrades that we're going to be doing um, even though we already know what it does, we've done it a ton of times, we sell gears for it all the time, I just wanted to feel it for myself and you know, think, hey, what ratio should this have if it was a bone stock truck and I never planned on doing bigger tires? And uh, so far I'm thinking 488 is actually a lot closer to where it should be. Um, you know, out on the highway, I was turning about 1800 RPM at 60 and that felt perfect. I could set cruise control and it didn't downshift. That was the first time I've driven it that it actually felt right. Um, also on the low end, the performance is amazing. You know, it's just zippy. The lower gearing helps on both ends. And what's nice about a six-speed trans is you've got uh, low gearing and you've got tall gearing. I'm, I'm not giving it too much throttle here, but this is a really steep hill. Um, the camera probably doesn't show it but this spot on my drive I get stuck behind semis and we're usually doing about 35 up this hill on the highway which is 60 miles per hour and I have no problem uh, pulling it here at 50 um, it looks like it's in fifth gear right now but under 2,000 rpms now that we're over the hill downshifts no problem I can even I can probably even pass this car in sixth gear you know, without it downshifting. Yeah. Yeah, no problem. So now up to 60, you know, 1800 RPMs or so. And it feels great. Uh, the video we did a couple weeks ago, even on this section, which is a slight grade, it wouldn't go into sixth gear. And if I let off the throttle, eventually it would. But then as soon as I gave it any gas, it downshift to fifth, and it would actually turn more RPMs than it is right now. So I'm actually effectively turning less RPMs on the highway because I'm keeping it in the gear that it needs to be. And I've watched my average tank economy already improve. It's already at 17.1, and I've only put about 65 miles on it with these new gears. And uh, that's better than I've seen the whole time I've had it and I've been doing the same type of driving So I know the 17.1 doesn't sound good to a lot of people Maybe if you live somewhere flat and do just highway driving, but I would imagine I would get considerably better in those conditions This is with a lot of I'm just using it as a comparing apples to apples and you know my Apple hasn't been so good so far fuel economy wise <laughs> It sounds like this is definitely an improvement. Yeah, it's definitely an improvement, but it's also, I guess, it, it, gearing is really hard to describe because it's not so drastic that a lot of people think it'll just be revving through 
through the roof and you're going to be turning 4,000 RPMs on the highway and as you can see, looking at the gauges, which the speedometer is accurate, accurate, verified by GPS, the gearing doesn't affect the speedometer, but the tire size does and we haven't changed our tire size yet. So, um, yeah, it's just, it feels right. Like this whole, the whole time I've had this truck, even, even uh, I've had friends or, you know, family drive the vehicle and uh, say, man, that thing's gutless or it seems like it's shifting all the time. And I'm like, I know it's a new truck, but it, that's what it feels like. It's because the gearing. And I've actually been able to explain gearing to people that otherwise, you know, didn't, you know, didn't deal with it or, or have a reason to know about it. And, and they even got it once they drove this truck. And I bet you if, if, uh, if they drive it now, they'd really see the difference, but it just feels right. Just shifts through the gears like it should, stays in sixth gear on the highway. I'm really excited to see what this is gonna do, like average fuel economy. But more than that, I mean, normally I don't even pay too much attention to economy because it is what it is, And but it's nice to see that number. Um, but the feeling of driving it, I, I wasn't that impressed before and now I actually, I've gained a like a lot of things about the truck other than the gearing and the constant shifting and now it just feels right it feels like it should so more fun to drive now yeah definitely more fun to drive um it's not shifting all the time it just before it just didn't feel right like you know it wasn't it just wasn't geared properly from the factory in my opinion um and and you know i love toyotas i have a fleet of toyotas pretty much but um they're under you know it's not necessarily by design they have strict regulations to me you know with epa and all that kind of stuff so i would imagine a lot of that plays a role um specifically uh an example would be most of these trucks are automatics uh the manual trans truck uh turns about uh 700 800 rpm more than the automatic truck on the highway in fact the stock manual tacoma turns more rpms uh than this truck does with 488s so wow you know it, again, it sounds like a really low ratio, but for these trucks, it's definitely not. Yeah, see, that just feels so good. It just shifts when it needs to, get up to speed. You don't have to stomp it to get it to downshift again. So it's safe to say that even if you have stock wheel and tire setup, it's still a good idea to re-gear, especially if you're in an area like we are in Washington State where you're facing some grades and hills. Oh yeah, definitely. I think, uh, you know, I mean, if I had my way, I mean, all these trucks should come with 48s from the factory, but that wouldn't be really good for us because, I mean, obviously we sell gears, but um, I think it would be a better match uh, for the six-speed auto and something that everybody could do. This isn't just like an off-roaders modification. It's not just for big tires or heavy trucks, overlanders. It's like, you know, your average person that has a Tacoma, just driving it to work every day or whatever they do with it could benefit from the 488s, I feel like. Cause that's really all I've been doing with this truck since I had it. We're gonna change that pretty soon, but you know, I just, I just really felt like the gearing on this truck specifically was so, in need of attention that I wanted to, you know, show people that it is a modification that everybody can do. And it's not just a hardcore modification or for off-roaders or for off-road use. It's for, I mean, daily driving too. Um, you know, if you had a stock Tacoma and, and you were towing quite a bit, I think 529s would even be fine with stock tires. You know, if you needed extra load. And as I mentioned, even with 529s, you're gonna be lower RPMs than a stock Tacoma with a manual. Um, yeah, <laughs> I don't know. It's pretty exciting to me because uh, I've been doing this for 20 years and re-geared, you know, thousands of vehicles with my own hands and driven so many and owned so many. And I've, I've never witnessed a stock vehicle where it, you went so drastic with a gear ratio and it just made it feel so good, you know, made it feel right. So it's pretty exciting for me.